Hey guys, so hope you're all doing well. I've been kind of MIA lately because since I've moved to San Francisco from New York City, I've been super sick. Like, <laughs> been hospitals, been <laughs> multiple doctor appointments. Since July, I've been working with a bunch of doctors to try to figure out what's happening with my body. Uh, basically, it's a combination of different autoimmune disorders and almost down to the bottom of it. It's been a lot <laughs> since I've moved to San Francisco. And I've actually had to give up working out five to six times a week, focusing more on my health. And my body started to get smaller, I got skinnier, my muscle mass decreased. Um, I didn't realize how upset I'd be once I lost the muscles that I worked so hard for, for years. To be honest, a huge part of me was adamant that I was working out because of the health benefit, but I would be in denial and not being honest. My working out was a lot solely for aesthetics and being superficial. Losing it was a big blow to my self-image, my ego, my perception of myself. I wasn't able to really focus on myself and my health until I was able to really let that go. When I started letting go, I was able to start finding peace. Same thing for my work. Since I moved to San Francisco, I worked a lot. But my need for perfectionism oftentimes makes me stay up super late makes me stress out about a lot of things I shouldn't even be stressing out about. Stress was actually a huge contributing factor as well to the decline of my health. I had to be okay with letting go of perfectionism and being Superman. I listened to a lot of podcasts. I listened to Tim Ferriss. I listened to Gary Vanderchuk. Gary Vanderchuk, all of his podcasts focus on those 20 hour work weeks. No, sorry, 20 hour work days. <laughs> and killing yourself so that you have the success that you want. It wasn't until I started tuning into myself that I was able to recognize that I'm not Gary Vaynerchuk, I'm Steven, and I will be successful in my own way. And with all that said, that actually leads me to my mantra for 2018 over the few past few months, thinking about it, figuring out exactly what to focus on. My mantra is actually counterintuitive. My mantra for 2018 is to let go or being okay with letting go. Letting go of things so I can pave the way for things that matter most. Letting go of superficial images, perfectionism, focusing in on the one that truly matters. And as I think about my mantra, this mantra of letting go can be applied to so many other things. When it comes to projects, letting go of doing all the projects so that I can focus in on the one that truly matters. When it comes to materialistic possessions, letting go of owning too many material things so that you can really care for the prized possessions that you own. And when it comes to people, letting go of people that I overextend myself to, oftentimes I'm stretched so thin, so that I can focus in on the few that truly matter. 2018 is going to be an interesting year for me. Anyway, hope you are all having a wonderful holiday season with your friends, your loved ones, and of course yourself. Hopefully you took away something from this video and to also think about what is your mantra for 2018? What are some things that you can let go of so that you can focus in on things that truly matter. So yeah, feel free to share them with me. Let's be accountability partners. Thank you to all who've helped support me through the past few months. They've been pretty difficult and I really appreciate it from the bottom of my cold dark heart. <laughs> JK, I really appreciate it. Happy New Year to all of you. If you are ever in SF, let me know. Let's hang out and I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>